There are about 3,400 known species of snakes with about 250 of them being venomous and 50 of them being considered lethal, dead. You're not getting away from that bite. No antivenin is gonna help you. So today we're only talking about one specific family of those crazy snakes and is the viper day, or as we all know, vipers. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about the cottonmouth. That's what we're coming out here to find. Now let's talk about vipers for a second. It's considered to be the most advanced seen throughout the entire world in all the hotter spots except for Australia, which we'll get into that later down the road, which is pretty interesting that there's no vipers in Australia. But yeah, so they're considered to be the most advanced. Now they have a small maxilla, uh, maxilla bone that allows them to actually fold their fangs in at 90 degrees. It's like a little hinge. No other snake can do that. They all have fixed fangs, whether it's in the front or the back of their mouth. So that's what makes them extremely advanced compared to other snakes. And then obviously we'll talk about it more later. You know, they got hemotoxic venoms and such, but yeah. So let's go see some vipers and uh, let's go get some cool shots. All right guys, so we are here with the main snake of the day. This is the Northern Cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin. These guys are part of the Viper Day family. It is a viper. They can be found from Illinois to Texas, all the way down to like the Florida Keys, trying to get us. Oh look, he's doing little tongue flicks. Hey buddy. So what's interesting about these guys in terms of toxicity, which you, you don't want to get bit by this guy, okay? He's got hemotoxic venoms and when he bites you, it will make your skin decay. And as it heals, you'll even start flaking skin off. You can even lose a limb. But it also has a bit of cytotoxin as well. So the cytotoxin will cause things like you know, messed up vision, foggy head. Now remember, if you ever are bit, do not tourniquet it. It is not that type of venom. This is hemotoxic. You do not want to tourniquet that. Don't wrap it up. Just stay calm. Keep yourself relaxed. Call emergency people. Call the ambulance. So what's interesting is these guys actually lay live. They can have up to 15 and their length. They get up to about four foot in length and they get really, really girthy. And it, it, you can see he, he doesn't even care. They're super docile, like everyone's always so scared of these snakes. Now he's not gonna bother you. He's actually going back the other way because if anything, we're probably just bugging them. They have a defense strategy called gaping, which is where they show the inside of their mouth. That's where they get the famous name a cotton mouth from. They have a really white interior inside their mouth uh, and that is aposematic, which means bright color. I could be venomous, poisonous. And it's like that with a lot of things in nature. You'll see that with all sorts of stuff. So that's a great example of gaping. That's their defense display. So like I said earlier, their mouth is aposematic. That is a color. Now this isn't bothering, let me clarify. I'm just doing this to get them to gape. So like I said, they show that very vibrant white color because if you look at their bodies, most of them are black. There's a bit of banding, but their bodies don't show, hey, I might be uh, venomous or poisonous, don't eat me. That is why they gape their mouth. It is a threat display. Also, another thing they usually do, which he isn't doing, well, he's tongue flicking, so he's in a good mood, but uh, they'll rapidly shake their tails along the leaf litter and rocks around them, which will almost make a sound kind of like a rattlesnake, not, the, not quite as uh, famous of a sound, you know, but they do that. He's about to leave. But I just want to talk about what they eat. These guys actually eat fish. That's the majority of their diet. Now, they also eat other snakes and amphibians and such. Their scientific name actually translates to hooked tooth fish eater. That is the main thing that they eat. They're also, obviously, if they eat fish, they're aquatic. They love to be in the water. They actually float on top of the water, so you can see them from a mile away. Again, all these snakes we've been seeing, these have all been different snakes. All this footage, I think it should really show that they don't want to bite. He's just, he's just going away. Now, as neonates or babies that are born live, like I mentioned before, they're actually striped, as you can see here, and they have a very vibrant yellow tail. And the reason why the tail is yellow is because they wiggle it like a worm to catch small prey, such as small amphibians like frogs. Now, the, all that goes away when they get older, but it's a really interesting change. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys check out the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. We got a lot more stuff coming to the channel and some big news soon. See you guys.